Howdy there folks, this is Lapidary Dave, and I just wanted to make a quick video reviewing these drill axe, I think that's how you say it, drill bits. This particular batch is a 30 piece of one millimeter drill bits. I bought this for drilling holes in relatively softer stones like uh, turquoise, serpentine, varicite, you know, chrysocolla, some jaspers, but not really like agates. For the harder stuff, I would use my water swivel. But I usually use Johnson Brothers brand. And the Johnson Brothers brand pack that I usually buy for like six bucks, seven bucks, uh, comes in a variety pack and there's only one one millimeter bit. So a friend of mine bought this package for me, my business partner, uh, in order to drill stones that we plan on making earrings with. In this video, I'm going to be drilling these little tiny turquoise composite uh, round cabs. It's kind of like what they would call Mojave. Mojave, where it has like the copper in there, but not really the same as the old Mojave stuff. Anyway, just small holes to put jump rings. Now, these look pretty good, but looks can be deceiving in the diamond world, big time. The machine I'm going to be drilling with today is a cheap Harbor Freight flex shaft. It's the only Harbor Freight flex shaft, I believe. I think I pay like around $40 for it after the 20% off coupon. I love this flex shaft so much that I own two of them. Let's see how she spins. Spins pretty true. So, when I drill using very small burrs like this, I do it a little bit differently than when I drill with larger burrs. Uh, I am a lot more careful to get water in there because if you whip off the diamond, then it's pretty useless and it's very easy to do. This kind of feels like 120 grit. In my opinion, slightly smaller grits than 80 grit are better for smaller millimeter bits. That's because, you know, you can get a lot more 120 grit pieces of diamond on a small bit than 80 grit diamond on the same size. I'm going to be using my 2.5 gallon drinking water container as my water supply. On this packaging, it says to start at an angle, then go vertical, don't push hard. It says that because it's so easy to snap this one millimeter bit if you're pushing too hard. And also by working at the angle, you're working some of the side diamond to kind of bite into the stone, especially when you're working harder stones. Since I plan on using jump rings to make these into earrings, I'm gonna be drilling them a little bit higher up. If I was a good little lapidary, I would be marking this with like a Sharpie or something, but whatever. All right, that was very fast. So far, I am totally impressed. Uh, they feel pretty nice. I felt it biting right away. After you use, you know, diamond burrs for a while, especially if you use cheaper ones, you can, you know, you really start to feel when it's biting into the stone that you're using. All right, I will do one more of these, and then we'll move on to something harder. Not difficult at all. Uh, on that piece, I didn't pull out and like get water onto the bit like I should have done, but whatever. Yeah, I'm impressed. They feel at least the same quality as Johnson Brothers, uh, if not even better. They are made in China. And yeah, I think they're 16 or $17 on Amazon. They got here really fast. 
I think, if I'm not mistaken, that that drill axe company isn't really manufacturing these and that they're rebranding just cheap burrs that they're probably packaging themselves. When it comes to the burrs that you find at Johnson Brothers, I know this to be true because I see a lot of different companies selling that, like, sea foam colored foam burr set. And I know just different people are relabeling the product. Anywho, let's drill something a little bit harder. All right, up next, I have this piece of parrot wing chrysogola I found on the floor of my shop. It's a lot harder than this Mojave, Mojave turquoise, which at best is stabilized, reconstituted turquoise. But a lot of this is like, you know, glue. But yeah, so we'll see how this drills. So, same bit. Lots of water. Uh, we'll drill up here. Oh, yeah. And in no time, we have a nice hole. <sighs> Didn't take too long. Since I'm only going one direction, I am getting blowout. But whatever. I'm actually going to ream this hole to make it bigger, to turn it into a pendant. It was just to drill something. Uh, this wouldn't be surprised if it was like five, five and a half. But I don't have MOH picks, so I don't really know. Let's drill something even harder than this before we wrap up this video. All right, last but not least is this little geode agate slice. I do not expect this bit to be able to drill this. It's not what I bought it for. If I was planning on drilling this, I would probably use like a nice core bit or something centered. Maybe something similar to this Johnson Brothers centered burr which would make really quick work of the agate and quartz but just to see what it can do we're gonna try i'm not expecting much so for this agate geode slice unlike the chrysocolla and the turquoise i'm definitely going to attempt to start at an angle So I'm taking my time, making sure to take the burr out, get water on both the burr and the stone, but also making sure not to have my finger behind it. On larger burrs, especially rounded burrs, you don't really need to worry about it, but sometimes it can push stone into your finger and twist it around. Nasty. But on these smaller burrs, it totally can pierce you. <laughs> so I was just about to give up and say that I've probably drilled, oh, maybe two and a half, three millimeters before I could notice some black material 
around the hole of the stone, which was definitely the steel uh, grinding off onto the stone. All of the diamond completely got whipped off of the tip. And if, if there was any cutting, it was from the side of the burr for me wiggling around. But then before I quit, I pushed way too hard. And I broke the stone, and I broke the burr. Not a problem at all. I got 29 more. But it's good to test these things to the limits. Is it worth it to me? Absolutely. Especially when I'm trying to get about 1 millimeter to 1.5 millimeter holes in uh, turquoise pendants that I use as focal beads on my necklaces that I beat up. Or for making earrings and other stuff and softer stones. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. But if you are after a precision hole at 1 or 1.5 millimeter, I would suggest using a water swivel or a core bit and using a drill press, taking your time, doing some pump drilling inside of a dish of water or something. This just, this drill X stuff isn't going to cut it for harder materials like that. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. Uh, I love this stuff for what I plan on using it for. Let me know what you folks think. Let me know what are your favorite one millimeter drill bits out there. And until next time, folks, I love you and I'll see you soon.